Guys, what's going on, man? Welcome back to the Corner Cade. I'm Danny, guys. We are chilling and chatting on the Let's Go show on this Wednesday night, guys. Um, we got some breaking home arcade, arcade what up news that we're going to talk about. Uh, it's hitting YouTube everywhere, so I'm really cool that I was able to uh, have that news come in just before the show so we can kind of bring it to you guys and we can talk about it tonight. Also, X-Men is on the horizon for us, and we're getting some major upgrades, and I'm going to show you everything that we're getting uh, corresponding to last week's show. And speaking of last week's show, guys, we came up with a 2024 RK1UP rehash deluxe list, and guys, <laughs> we're one for one right now. I'm going to show you that list. We're checking them off, and let's go, man. Uh, but before we start the show, guys, let me bring you guys into the building here. Say hello to everybody in the house. I am under the weather a little bit, so just bear with me if I have to cough or whatnot. It, it just I have probably the worst immune system on the planet, and a flu bug comes out, and I'm, I'm knocked out. So um, bear with me, guys. Let's see if we get through this show without any eruptions. Kicking it off right away, we got Addicted to Arcade What Up in the House saying, what's up, Corner? Cade and chat. Thank you so much, man, for stopping by. Really, really do appreciate it. We got Jason, Little Alien in the house. It was an epic stream. I, it was an epic stream. Jason, we're just starting. The show it hasn't ended yet. I'm just kidding. Probably referring to something else. Uh, Grime is in the house. That's right, man. Hashtag let's go, guys. I want to see the hashtag let's goes. I want to see the hashtag LFGs. And I want to see you guys give this video a like. Really does help support the channel. Endangered Dog is in the house. Let's go. We got JT Games. Sup, Danny, in the chat. How you doing, man? How you doing? Zero Redux. That's what I'm talking about, man. Let's go, dude. Absolutely love it. And of course, Dark Realm. We're always bumping it here at the Corner K, guys. Christopher Cameron is in the house saying, now nah, we're here to talk about another golden tea. Oh, you bet your ass, dude. Let's go, man. Let's go. We got Carl Dog in the house. Let's go. Finally, a golden tea. Yeah, guys, trust me. We're going to hit this swinging out of the gates as soon as I say hi to everybody because I'm excited. I'm excited at the end of the day. Uh, we got Damian Williams in the house. Selling my four-player calves. It's finally happening. Yes, yes. Let's go, guys. The movement has started. Mark's Mental Arcade is here. I've watched 48 of your live streams and videos. I have 38 more to go. Yes, Mark. Like them all and watch them all. I really do appreciate the support, man. Um, yeah, definitely goes a long way, as always, to help supporting the channel. Uh, can you guys believe it? I think we are on a 29-week streak now um of streaming at least once a week doing the let's go show or a podcast show or live gameplay through restream so you know shout outs to you guys at the end of the day for supporting the channel man none of this happens without you guys being here i'm not going to sit here you know in a in an empty arcade and talk to myself um you know i'm gonna spend time with my wife and the family kind of thing so kudos to you guys for making me get my ass up every single uh night once a week kind of thing and get on here and help bring you guys a cool show um, so I really do appreciate it. It's also you guys at the end of the day, and it's for you guys at the end of the day. But 28 weeks, I mean, that's like we're going on seven months now. That's insane. Time flies when you're having fun, guys. Uh, Lethal Wolf is in the house. Hiya, Danny. Hiya, chat. We got Nino Brown in the building. What's going on, man? That's right. Thumbs up. Let's go. Love it. Chris C is here. Um, and Jason is going to say, be right back. I have to install a Golden Tea content filter in my browser. <laughs> you're so funny, dude. Um, okay, guys. So. Let me bring you guys down real quick. Again, thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight. Uh, we're going to have one heck of a show like we always do. We have fun in the sun here. And, guys, I'm going to break it off with this new sounder. So let's get this show started. All right, guys, diving right into it. You bet your sweet aching Panakis. It's Arcade 1-Up Golden Tea Deluxe. Now, guys. I myself have kind of been clamoring for this here. Um, every day on the show, I kind of bring something up like, hey, this would be cool. That would be cool. We always throw out ideas. What could we do? Let's get rid of four players. Let's make this a deluxe. And you can start to see it a little bit now. Um, and this was obviously leaked on Wayfair here. And I'm trying to – let me go over here. Um, so let's take a look at this. Obviously, just starting up from the top to the bottom here. Uh, we got the Golden Tea Deluxe, so this is going to be literally mini me of Golden Tea XL, cut from the same cloth, side art, marquee, everything. So price point says seven hundred seventy dollars. Obviously, that's not the price point. Um, I think when it's just like a, 
it's not been released yet kind of thing. Um, that's the price that's thrown on there. Now, I would be shocked if it actually was seven seventy. dollars Now, we saw Golden Tee XL 699 Um, and I don't know if that was the Incredible Technologies price tag or whatnot with that, but I would be absolutely shocked if it was that price. I mean, we're all assuming this is four ninety nine. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. Maybe the maybe the you know the reserve price, the the pre order price is is four ninety nine. Now, I always told myself, and I told you guys that we'll never pre order kind of thing. So I will obviously pick this up. That's no questions asked. But uh, will I pre order it? I don't know. I, I would like to see this get on a sale. I know Wayfair, you make a, a new account, you get ten percent off right out the gate. Could be forty bucks if it's you know seven hundred and seventy dollars, which I don't think it's going to be. It'll be you know closer to seventy five dollars off or something. So, um, yeah, pretty exciting stuff here all around. I mean, this was just this hit me you know just a few hours ago. Um, just kind of uh, I was walking around IKEA with the family. We were getting some fun stuff for the house, and uh, then we got some pizza delivered, and we got the news there. And I was kind of just looking at it up and down. It looks like it's the same carbon copy of what the uh, the Golden T XL is going to be. So I'll give you guys some some pictures here that we can kind of take a look at. Here's the front of the machine now. Uh, I'm just going to top to bottom here. It looks like Golden T 3D Golf is going to be the same thing. That marquee just like looks a little bit different. That's what caught me out, uh, out by by my eyes. But here's what I will say on the three-quarter machine is that the, the screen is slanted, as you see here. So it's got a great slant to it. Now... I, you know, XL Golden T lovers and and, and uh, owners out there, let me know. Do you still hit your hand on that trackball? That's the question. Do you still hit your hand on the trackball to the screen? Like when you do that that motion, are you still hitting the screen at all? Um, because it looks like with it, with it being straight out like that, um, with that angle, you might not. Um, which you know, we own the Golden T XL. And, you know, a big reason why we got rid of it was the screen. The screen was awful. And with that slant on there, it made it 10 times worse. The colors were just all washed out all over the place. So this BOE monitors, I assume, is going to look gorgeous, even at that slant. So that's all good stuff at the end of the day. Um, looking at the control panel here, get a nice little view here. Um, same exact control panel. We're just going to minus the headphone jack. Um, so really, really cool stuff here. Uh, this is very exciting, guys. I know it's a rehash. But it looks like from um, this year, guys, it's going to be a lot of this. But this is something that, you know, <clears throat> even with a few videos that I put out in the comment section of people on YouTube so far, I don't see a lot of hate towards this. It wasn't like, you know, the X-Men 97, like, what are you doing kind of thing. This is more like, okay, you know, we'll take it. You know, for people that don't have the three-quarter, like, I got rid of my first, my Gen 1 to bring the XL in thinking like, okay, I'm going to upgrade this thing, you know, gorgeous acrylic marquee, you know, bigger screen, coin door on it, riserless design, things to be great, you know, it's not that like uh, swan design anymore, and then thing just crapped the bed with the monitor, so I was like, oh, I, I ended up getting rid of it, and I always wanted, I always wanted a Golden Tee Deluxe, I always wanted it for not only the games, but, you know, for the Golden Tee itself, um, and just the, the look, it's going to be Awesome. Very, very excited about this one. Swinging on over the games line, I'm very, I'm very happy RK one up just copied the um XL uh PCB to this one. So you're gonna get uh Golden T97, 98, 99, 2K, and then the original Golden T, along with Shuffle Shot and World Class Bowling. I really can't ask for it anymore. Obviously, would you like a silver strike bowling with that? Of course, like we're not, but that's not an option at this point. Um so I'm very happy, at least, that they took this PCB, kind of moved it over, um, and we're going to be using it the same. Now, I will say, I'll give you a shot here of the sides, as you can see from, you know, the original XL. You're going to get those screw cap covers, give you some, some good stuff here. To my knowledge, this isn't from the vault or anything. So with that being said, the only drawback to this, guys, is there's no light-up coin doors. And that, you know, from a day one standpoint, we agree here on the, on the, the Let's Go show that these things need to be all lit up. 100%. It would be kind of cool that they threw in like a light up uh, trackball, just getting on that light up button thing. But it, it, I understand if they don't. And for purists out there who don't want that, totally get it. Totally get it. But it's always something cool to add more value to. But uh, the dimensions are as is 61 inches. That's that standard RK1 of three quarter scale height. Now, where the difference is going to be, usually these things are 19 inches across. You're going to get 18.6, not the end of the world. Uh, they're almost 18. And then the 25.2 depth 
Uh, normally these things are, I think are like 22, 23 inch depth. Now I could be wrong. I don't know. I think they're 22 inch depth. So it looks like that control panel is a little bit bigger, kind of like sim uh, uh, simulating uh, the 99 lives control deck behind me that you see on Blitz. Um, so it's going to come out a little bit more. So if you have those tight idols like we do, you got to kind of plan a little bit. And I was like, oh, man, where's this thing going to go? Might go directly behind me because I got to be able to have room in the aisles kind of thing. But that's not a deal breaker. I'd rather have that control panel a little bit bigger so you got more room to uh, spin the trackball there. But it's been confirmed here that there's going to be a 17-inch you know, BOE monitor um, on that. So that's really good stuff. But I just did not see. And, and the one thing I did see here. Um, I didn't see the light up coin doors, but it says deck protector. So I'm kind of bummed out about that, guys. You know me. I'm all about the no more plastic deck protectors on the on the machines anymore. So, but it looks like it's gonna have that. And that's that wishy-washy thing. It's like, okay, what up? What are you doing? Are you putting light up coin doors on it? Are you not? Are you putting the deck protector on there? Are you not? Like we gotta pick a lane, guys. We can't just do this. People are gonna want their arcades to be the same as far as an aesthetic point on that. You can't light up some and then not light up the other. So um, you know, do we have a a price point on this? Um, kind of, sort of, not really. Do we have a time it's going to come out? Kind of, sort of, not really. We don't know when this thing is going to come out. We can speculate uh, tonight on the show with you guys. Uh, let me bring this over here. Let me bring you guys back into the building here. So, guys, what are your thoughts here on the uh, the Golden Tea uh, Deluxe? Are you guys liking it? Are you digging it? Let's get uh, let's get some feedback here from you guys in the chat. Let me scroll down here. James hates everything. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Uh, Toxin, thank you so much, man, for stopping by. <clears throat> Kim Morrison is in the house. This Alik, yes, it's on Wayfair, guys. You can go over and check it out while you're watching the show, of course. Make sure I'm just in the background. Swipe up on your phone. Open a new tab and go look for, at it for yourself. Um, JT Game says, yes, I do, and I have the XL. So it looks like, are you, are you guys going to be picking this up? Let me know in the chat here. Um, let's see here. James hates everything. Only online leaderboards lame. Yeah. So that's one of the one of the drawbacks. Like I always want the cabs to have online light up coin doors. One hundred percent. I wish you could just play online. So this is just going to be a clone copy. They're not going to develop any money into like the online leader uh, online gameplay or anything. It's just going to be leaderboards. But could that be something that they bring on the future? Who knows? Who knows? Because it'd be really cool to have like tournament play for this um with rk one up and stuff uh zero redux no there's it's gonna be the same xl uh games list that the xl cab had so no no more games unfortunately do we want more games of course but it, it is an upgrade over the the gen one I'll, I'll give it that yes jason yay golf and we should be happy because it looks like that um that shuffle golf thing got canceled so for anybody that's backing that i don't know why it got canceled but guys let me know in the chat <laughs> Yeah, zero. Like I said, I don't think it's gonna be seven hundred. I could be totally wrong. I, I could be totally wrong. That'd be a hefty price point. Then I would for sure have to wait on it, guys. If we're pushing eight hundred for golden tea, I mean, I don't think so. Yeah, James says I would wait on that price. Wayfair is notorious for overpricing retail. Yeah, it's just like all fluctuating all over the place. Um, think about it when they have a sale, it's like for an hour or something, an hour and 37 minutes, and then it's gone. It's so weird. Like, uh, Joust was 267. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's going to be a plastic control, uh, deck protector on that grime. Um, so it, I guess it won't fade, but, uh, yeah, I would prefer it not be on there and have that nice vinyl that they put on the newer cabs. Uh, yeah, it's definitely, like I said, this is, this is like, a, this is, a, I think this is going to be a good one for the community as far as rehashes go. Yes, this isn't a uh, new title, but I think this, this is a major upgrade from the first gen, um, three quarter scale golden T and it's, and I would even say it's an upgrade from the, the XL too. All right. Doug says, okay, so now, uh, that they're going to do a golden T deluxe and I'll tell for a four player. Now let's get a four-player deluxe cap going. We shall hope. <laughs> I don't know, man. Those four players are too big, my guy. Uh, yes, uh, Renee definitely needs to be three ninety-nine, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. That would be great. I think uh, coming in at like a four ninety-nine is more realistic. Now, I, I wish on that for that three ninety-nine price point right out of the gate. If you uh, you know want to pre-order it, that would be awesome too. <clears throat> uh, Addicted Arcade One Up says I'm happy with my. Uh, 
XL, and I think that if Costco has a Golden Tee XL, it'll be different. Yeah, I just I don't know. That's a that's a great question. Are they going to do two? Are they going to do two Golden Tees in one year? And um, you know, several you know, a couple months apart from each other, kind of thing. That's that's the uh, that's what we're waiting to see here. Uh, Julio Hernandez in the house says uh, people are pushing for a Golden Tee. I don't see it being less than five ninety nine. Hmm. That's gonna be a tough pill to swallow, guys. I don't know if I, I don't know if I like that. James hates everything. Says, uh, will they also release a Costco XL? Seems like it possibly. I, you know that they have the exclusive to the to the XL line. If they're already doing this, then uh, I don't see why not. So it'll be very interesting to see if they do. You know, if if um, RK One Up does both an XL and a deluxe. I mean, that like that, the last thing they kind of did that was with the Killer Instinct, almost with that Pro series. Be very, very interesting to see if they do that. Uh, JT, so it's an uh, it's an upgrade from the XL as far as a um, a screen. The screen at the end of the day. Uh, yes, it has a 17 inch screen, but the BOE. I mean, I would uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but <laughs> I personally would take a 17 inch BOE over a 19 inch TN that is washed out to holy hell that my wife and daughter and son can't even play. And if I'm standing on my tippy toes, I can barely make it manageable. Um, so that's just me at the end of the day. And I, you know, some people love their golden TXL and they will ride till die kind of thing. But I think this is awesome that it's coming into deluxe. This is exactly what I wanted at the end of the day. Like long and short, guys, um, say what you want. This is exactly what I wanted in the three-quarter scale to put in my home arcade. I'm really, really excited about this. The bowling alone, guys, is, is makes the cabinet. And me and my wife are definitely going to have fun playing Golden Tee. And even, like, Shuffle Shot on there. This is really, really cool. It's really exciting to bring, like, newer games in here um, that aren't the rehashes. You know, we had, like, at one point, three Mortal Kombat calves, three Street Fighter calves. Like, enough with that. You know, we want to get some other stuff in here. Uh, Dark Realm says, red pill or blue pill. Doesn't matter. Quarter Kate, you got this. That's right, baby. Let's go. We're fighting through the cold. And we're fighting through the Matrix to bring you this show. To bring you the Let's Go show on a Wednesday night. Uh, I think the arcade one up says it'll be five ninety nine because Golden Tea is still very modern and relevant. It's an expensive IP. Maybe, maybe so. I I don't know how the the IP pricing works. I don't know if they made some of their money already. You know, with Street Fighter, you guys saw the benefits of that in the community that the the Dynamo cab behind me, you know, was able to be two ninety nine because they've already made their money off that license. So, really, really cool thing there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, James. So the price is kind of gonna it's gonna be fluctuating. It's got to be four ninety nine. I can't imagine they upcharge. There's no uh, PGA license or anything special um, that warrants an upcharge. Yeah, like if it was some uh, one of the other Golden Tee cannons that includes all that, they got Pat Summerall on there. Oh, that'd be really dope. Uh, he was like announcing on one of the Golden Tee calves. It'd be really, really cool. Um, JT Games says, got to swap that monitor. Only cost me 40 bucks, but I have two for 80. I mean, if you can get a monitor for 40 bucks, that's amazing, JT. I, the lowest I got it was for it was like 100. Um, but uh you know, at the end of the day, like if you're paying, you know, whatever I'm paying, you shouldn't have to swap anything out with nothing. Um, that's just me, though. Like you shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to mod things like technically speaking, we shouldn't have to be putting real buttons in these things. They should come with real buttons like hey, I will pay the extra. Tell me uh, tell me chat real quick. Would you guys pay the extra fifty dollars per cab to get real buttons and sticks in these machines i think it'd be worth it at the end of the day uh jason i do not play real golf if i could i would i think that'd be a really cool thing really cool sport um apparently my my grandfather was on the pga tour at one point i think back in like the 60s or 70s so it's in my blood it's in my blood it's golden tea in my blood we shall see i did guys if you scroll back in time on the corner k channel you guys see i got a hole in one one time i was freaking out dude i got the camera ready and i was going <coughs> Boofman coming in hot saying uh, this would be a real hit if they were able to add online play. It's all a ton of these. Um, I guess that licensing is an issue. It's still good that they're coming out with new cabs. Yeah, 100%. Like, <clears throat> even though that this is a rehash, guys, it's still really cool that we're, we're getting just – it's not like another Mortal Kombat. You know, it's, it's yes, it's a rehash, but something we haven't seen before. And that is going to be bringing into my list that we guys made – you know, we made with you guys last week. <coughs> it was uh, the list that we had. Let's see if I can bring that up, guys, because we're we're checking one off the list right now. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you guys real quick. 
what I'm talking about and get you a visual. All right, let's see. Let's bring you guys guys down real quick. Haha, the list. Guys, we got a check mark. Let's go. One for one. That is definitely a let's go, man. But think about it. <clears throat> if you know this list doesn't scream ah uh, to anybody, really. <clears throat> but uh, if you had a Ridge Racer Deluxe, I think that thing would look beautiful with their new form factor. Even a Tron Deluxe, for example. Man, once the throat gets going, it's gone, man. I'm telling you, I have like the worst, worst gag reflex in the world, guys. But uh, so yeah, now I'm hoping we get more than this. I got some honorable mentions on there that I, I don't know what they're gonna do with the you know, Mortal Kombat or the shooting cab this year, or even really like another driving cab or anything like that. So we got some honorable mentions on there to keep our tails safe. But uh, Michael B kind of squashed it last week, saying the Burger Time Deluxe. Which is not going to happen. So, you know, maybe retailers said no to that, but it was something that was rumored, just like that lethal enforcers cab down there. <clears throat> so, but yeah, guys, we are we are one for one on the list. Um, very exciting stuff at the end of the day, guys. I think it's cool. Yes, it's a rehash. This is kind of like X Men ninety seven when I got on with you guys. Um, but yeah, um, Julio Hernandez says uh, four ninety nine. I'll buy. $5.99, I'll buy. <laughs> Let's go. I'll still buy it. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Headshake TV, what's going on, man? What's going? What's up, everybody? What's going on, man? How you doing? Thank you for stopping by. <clears throat> yeah, I'm definitely not a member of any exclusive clubs, Jason. That's that's for damn sure. I just go to a driving range uh, here and there. Oh yeah, um, <clears throat> JT Games. I I did. I did. We did get the XL for three fifteen at the time. Like I said, that that monitor was just. Had to go. Sorry, I had to go. I ended up selling it for like I think four fifty. So I got we got plenty of use out of it. It was cool to get an XL cab. Our XL cab's cool. Yes, we just don't have the space for them. And you know, <clears throat> I'm not putting my home arcade in the hands of Costco to make a decision on their one XL that they bozoily pick every year. Just not gonna do it. I'm not. I'm not doing it. So um, I'm sticking with the uh, the deluxe. And I'm gonna write out a couple more fresh titles. I didn't get the, you know, like the Street Fighters, the Blitzes, the Mortal Kombat's, the, you know, Star Wars, you know, Fast and Furious, Time Crisis, you name it. There's a lot more game selection going to Deluxe than over the XL. Uh, let's see, Scream and Banshee, what's up? What's up, man? Thank you for stopping by. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, guys, some pretty pretty exciting stuff as far as the golden tea goes. I was kind of hyped when I first heard it. I was like, okay, let's go, liking this, liking this. Um, <clears throat> and some other cool stuff came in, guys. Um, so let's just bring this down. Let's bring this down. Um, let's see here. Bam. Okay, guys. So this guy right here. Um, as you see it. Our marquee came in. Our Blitz and X-Men marquees both came in from Joe Sabo, so I was pretty, pretty excited about that. Um, and we're going to be putting those on very, very shortly. Hopefully after the show. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. I want to at least get X-Men on there because uh, that's a big, big difference for both of these guys. But I mainly pri primarily made the order for X-Men, and I said, what the hell? Throw the Blitz one on there too because that needs it badly. Uh, but they both came in from Joe Sabo's. Now, as far as the X-Men build is concerned, you know, have we started it? No. We're waiting for everything to come in. Um, and, and not normally piece by piece we would do this, but because, you know, we do a YouTube channel and want to document it for you guys, we're going to wait till everything comes in and then we're going to kind of do it all together in a show um, for for you guys. So you guys will see that kind of stuff play out here as we go on. Um, right now we have the buttons. We have the wiring, which the wires and the buttons fit right in perfectly. So no soldering, no um, crimping, no nothing, which is awesome. Uh, um, <clears throat> but, yeah, so we have the buttons, the wires. Um, we have the speaker grill covers. And now we have the marquee. We're just missing the 99 Lives control panel. That's going to be the main piece here. And we're missing the G.I. Joel riser that I just placed an order for. Um, so we'll see how that goes. We'll, we're waiting for those. I bet you the riser comes before the control panel. But we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Like I said, I want to at least document. I can get I can get things on piece by piece, but I got to make videos on them. And then release them so you guys can see them. And then I assume we'll do, once we do each mod video, we'll do like a 
total showcase video of what the X-Men Deluxe sort of looks like. Um, Skyhook's got a question here. We'll bring this down. Um, how long total did you wait for the marquees? I think it was exactly one month he took him to get to me. Normally it's like a three month thing, but he could be a little bit faster now. But Joe Sabos took me about uh, took me about a month to get him. And did you order anything from Sabos? Let me know. <clears throat> uh, Jason says I love the blue purple glow to it. it. Matches the cabinet. Are you talking about the Blitz marquee? And that Blitz marquee behind me is looking sad, dude. <laughs> like I can't wait to get that switched out. Yes, four scores and seven years ago, <laughs> Joe Sabo's coming through. It wasn't that bad, but normally it's it's a wait. Damn, can you guys believe we have, we got uh, four total marquees from Joe Sabo's now. Four. That's insane. We got the Big Dug. We got the KI, Blitz, and now X-Men. So a lot of cool things, man. I'm going to tell you. When you get these marquees replaced, they look so much better when you're playing them. I didn't realize until I put the Killer Instinct one on how just unbelievably gorgeous and um, excellent these marquees are. They just when you're staring at the machine, you gotta have them because they're just right in your face there. <laughs> and uh, Dark Realm says, "Look, everyone, Corner K thinks he's all hard because he's showing off his two player Blitz cap. You guys even see it back there with the uh, the two player mod to it? It's kind of hard to see." Um, <clears throat> Boofman says, ordered Dig Dug and Pac-Man <clears throat> from Joe Sabos in late January. Still waiting. He does say 68 weeks, so it should be soon. I always will strongly encourage you guys <clears throat> to send an email to Joe Sabos after you place an order to say, hey, look, I just placed an order for this, that, and the other, or whatever it is. When do you think is a time frame I could get, I could get it? Because it seems like it just in his head, it sets a clock or he prints it off and he puts it up. And he kind of bumps you to the line right away because it only, like I said, it only took me a month. But normally it takes you like three months, a couple a couple weeks uh, later. Later, but it's still at six to eight weeks. It's two months, you know, one and a half, two months still. So, <clears throat> yeah, Julian Hernandez, once you're mad, you feel like uh, uh, General Zod, unstoppable. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be interesting, man. When we start doing the buttons, <clears throat> it's definitely gonna be interesting. It's gonna. <clears throat> excuse me it's gonna open up a uh <clears throat> wide range of things that we could do for other cabinets or do other buttons for like fighting cabinets oh man i think i will know once the buttons are installed where we pivot and deviate from there or how bad the one-up buttons are or how good you know real arcade buttons are we're gonna find out a lot of things because you know when you're playing them on the the real arcades it's like yeah like you're used to it you know you think nothing of it and then you go to the next real arcade when you actually get it in and you can compare, okay, I'm hitting the mushy button and then I go over here and hit the real button. Like, oh shit, there is a difference. Like that is a big difference. So we're going to see all that, dude. I'm really excited. Like I said, maybe when the show's over, I can, I can squeeze Mrs. Corner Cat out of bed and get her in here to do the, uh, the XL or the, the X-Men um, marquee um, tonight. Cause that would be really, really cool. Uh, Skyhook says, um, I'm converted. I've converted my uh, MVC two back and need a new marquee. So I wanted to check out if he still has uh, backlogged. Yeah, you'll have to definitely uh, send him a message to see what's going on because he is a busy, busy man. That's why some of his stuff takes like, you know, three three months to get to you. All right, guys, I'm going to see if I can pull up a um, poll here. I want to see uh, your guys' um, thoughts and opinions if you guys are going to go ahead and get the uh, Golden Tea Deluxe. All right, here we go. Bam! Let that roll for a little bit. I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions and see where your head's at with that. In the meantime, we'll answer some questions. Let's go. JT Games, buttons are definitely a big difference and a must on all cabs. I have ILs. Yes, we're going to see, man. We're A lot of people have hit me up like, hey, like, why aren't you doing it? You need to do it. So my wife has taken control of this. Mrs. Cornercade's in the house. She's on board. So we got some good stuff coming, I assume. Uh, Renee says, uh, we'll wait on the trackball issue. Hopefully it's a smooth trackball. They've kind of improved the spinners. 
But uh, let's see if it's a uh, if it's a good trackball. Wolfman says, uh, "Anyone see the new GRS shotgun for uh, Big Buck? Looks great, but two fifty might be a little steep. That's that that big shotgun that uh, uh, Glenn's making, and that'll be really cool. Looks like re- like it feels like it's got like weight to it from what I've what I've been seeing. That that two fifty at that." That's per one. So if you do both of them, that's like five hundred dollars. That's uh, and that's kind of steep. Headshake says, uh, "Is it the Golden Sea XL PCB or the original OG? Uh, different games on Yeah, Headshake just getting in here. Um, it's gonna be the XL PCB. So that's very good news because it gives you a, a couple additional Golden Tees, and it gives you a shuffle shot, and then the bowling game as well. Sorry, hat buttons. Yeah, I think." I'm trying to think what we got. Um, God, my wife knows. It was like, it must have been Suzo Hap, I think we got. Um, I think. I don't know, they're phenomenal buttons, though, because I was, like, pressing them. They got the cherry micro switches, and I was like, oh, yeah, these are going to be dope. Like, I was super excited. But we'll see. We'll see once we get it in. You know, we'll see. I want to do it, obviously, right now, you know, for you, but we got to wait. Um, yeah, Headshake, you're definitely happy with that news. Yeah, like I said, it's going to be cool, man. Golden Tea Deluxe, this is... This should be a little bit more exciting than X-Men 97 at the end of the day. Um, Screaming Banshee says, Danny, how big is the room the arcade's in? It's like 10 by 10 or 10 by 12. It's actually 14 by 14. So it's not too small, but it's not that big either. But I am blessed at the end of the day because the Cornercade, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think, two years ago started out with three calves and we made room for let me try to think here let me rewind the clock in my head it was one two we had like frogger in there now yeah one two three four there might have been like eight calves in there that we were squeezing it in there so idealistically we had room for maybe like six you know like in the corner of our living room because we were like we were like sucking it in to try to get to our our, our master bedroom there so you know we, we're in an apartment but if we had a basement, it would be open season. We wouldn't really get rid of anything. Um, so a little like corner arcade update. Um, our our arcade is pretty much maxed out. I could take the door off to the arcade and put one right next to. Let's get right there, right next to Star Wars here. Um, but uh, I'll probably uh, end up selling Joust to bring in uh, Golden Tea Deluxe. Uh, Headshake says, I got uh, finder nail scratches on my uh, OG golden tea screen from all the girls that play in the cab, so probably upgrade. Yeah, when you just hit the screen, and it really sucks. I did that a few times myself. I'm like, damn, that's like really short. And it was like it was like a smaller machine, too. It's cool that this thing's going to be 61 inches high. It's going to be a little bit more beefed up, a little bit taller. Um, I think this thing is going to look great. I really, really do. It's exciting. Um, and I, I can't wait to see, like, you know, since we're going down the, you know, the rehash route, um, you know, what else could get that nice little deluxe looking rehash? You know, even like Star Wars behind me, get an acrylic marquee in there. Um, even do like the 3D bezeling on the side. Like that's easy. You know, you just mold inject it and you just stick it on. Not hard. So like that could be cool. The light up coin drops is the, the, the newer reha- uh, the remodeled or uh, riser remodeled one has. <clears throat> it's just cool to see that even like a Ridge Racer Deluxe would look cool. Um, I would love to see an outrun. I just don't know um, if that's ever going to happen. I kind of want to get, uh, I kind of want to get a couple of guys on. Uh, I'd love to be on with like Michael B and just like fly on the wall and ask like, dude, let's just go down the list from top to bottom. In your whole honest opinion, what do you think is going to happen? Bang, bang, boom, and we could really get a concrete list together. I mean, we have a list. And I want to get confirmation on like somebody that's on the inner sides a little bit or just everybody's opinions that have um, <clears throat> kind of know RK went up a little bit more um, in depth to see like, OK, could this really happen? Did they lose that license? What's going on? You know, um, <clears throat> Headshake TV says, does 99 Lives make a bigger deck for Golden T3 four scale? Yes, they do. They even make like a four player. They make one with a light up trackball. They make one with cup holders. You got to go check them out. They're uh, it's really cool stuff that they uh, they make over there, and he'll do custom work too. So, like for example, guys, there was no X Men uh, two player deck. It wasn't a thing. Well, we 
we worked together to help develop that essentially. So that's now on his website. Um, and I'll be pushing the envelope too of whatever I want. I'll, I'll make sure he makes kind of thing. Um, kind of on the fence of doing like a turtles one, um, because they might come out with like a turtles deluxe. So I just would wait because I'd rather have that refresh body style. Um, but we'll see what happens at the end of the day. If it, if it doesn't come, it might do that. It might bring that back in. Um, we'll see. They're not, uh, Jason says they're not offering any calves to rip my doors off. Um, I mean, I don't know. It's, you know, it's hard. Like, it's not a big deal to me because it's just a couple screws and I can always put the door back on. But it, it, it like, helps continue that row. If you guys saw it, like, if you guys saw the row, you'd be like, oh, yeah, I mean, you've seen my, my home arcade tour. You'd be like, okay, yeah, I, I would totally fit one in there because it helps continue that row. Um, and it's all about the rows. It's all about the atmosphere at the end of the day. Uh, Skyhook says, with one up, you must be patient. They have a track record of taking four to five revisions to said game to finally get it right, if at all. HS5, NBA Jam uh, 30th, MK2 Deluxe. So this Golden T is good. Yeah, 100%. You know, it takes, and then once we get there, it's like, where do we go from here? That's the other questions I have. We'll have to get some guests on again. Um, because, like, you know, you come up with the Pac Man, that yellow deluxe. Where do you go from there? That's pretty much the best of the best. That's what it is. Like, where where do you go from here? That's kind of, you reach the echelon of that. Uh, one up underground says, I got the XL for $299. Got a BOE 19 inch for under 80, so I'm good. Yeah, you know, that's the only concessions is if you have, if you've done that, then yeah, I could say, hey, you're good. You don't really need it. But for the people who don't have that, like like myself, for example, this is actually pretty dope. This is pretty exciting. And, you know, even when I did have um, the XL in the corner, it was just, it was a little big, you know, it made the other ones, like it was a little, it was fat, you know, it was like, and it made the other ones look a little out of place. Not anything crazy, but you're looking at it, you get the 19 inch screen, and you're like, shit, I either want all 19 inches or the 19 inches got to go. Like, it's got to be a little bit more uniformity. Now, I know the heights are all going to be different. That's an arcade. Time Crisis to Big Buck to Mortal Kombat to Street Fighter. That's fine. You can make all the heights and stuff. But it's when they start to get, like, fatter. It's like, well, that just looks weird. Like, when everything else is skinny. Um, <clears throat> <coughs> Booth Man says, uh, the best thing about Golden TXL and now in the Deluxe is the ability to pause the game. You couldn't do that on the original Golden T if you wanted to take a break 18 games straight. Yeah, 100%, man. I like the fact that you can pause any game, like Mortal Kombat. If my kids come in or something, or something happens, I gotta go. I gotta use the bathroom. I'm gonna get a drink. I can just pause the game and be done with it. That's really cool. I love that. It's like little features like that. It's just cool. I can just hit that that live button and just pause it real quick. I think the most concession is, is going to be if this cab goes on sale. We don't know the price yet. The price is a little whack. I don't know what's going on with that. <clears throat> yes, guys in the community here in the chat. Help Grime find some monitors. This is where's everybody finding these cheap monitors? I need a TMNT monitor. Help them out, guys. Let's go. Let's see where our poll's at. Wow, I'm actually pretty shocked. Guys, I'm pretty shocked. We got 62% no, 38% yes. Now, granted, it's only that's only 21 votes. We have 54 people watching here. <coughs> I'm going to ring the bell here. Hold on a second. <clears throat> I mean, I got this head cold. Like, <clears throat> so I had a fever like a few days ago. And I woke up at like 4 in the morning, 3.30 in the morning. I was just drenched, guys. Like, I broke the fever, but I was just drenched. It was disgusting. I was all sweaty. I had to put on new clothes and everything. <clears throat> and now I'm just like, I got this lingering cough. And my nose is clogged. It's just the worst, man. Like, being sick is just awful. Like, everybody's saying, eBay, guys. It's eBay. Yeah, but eBay, like, we got a scam monitor off that. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't trust eBay. Um, Skyhook says 62% of us got burnt in the past doing day one buy, it seems. Yeah, I'll wait for a sale, guys. Always wait for a sale. And wait for you can kind of create your own sale, and you can at least get 10% off, So, which is cool. It's cool. 
Oh, there's the trick, J- JT, saying when you cheap or when you buy multiple, when you buy multiple monitors. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess you buy in bulk. <clears throat> Dark Rob says, right now, uh, the sales uh, that get you, wait until you start, you know, FOMO, realize uh, you got yourself sick of buying these machines. 100%. Um, did you, did you, did you? No? Want. You want to come here real quick? Yeah. No, come on, just... Oh, she was like, I was gonna see. <laughs> shout out to my wife, Mrs. Corner K, for bringing me a coke. I was, I was running to eat here. I wanted to get her thoughts on golden tea. She's happy, but I think the kids will kind of come in here and stuff. But um, she's happy too that this is gonna come back because she misses bowling and bowling's fun. My daughter even loved bowling, dude. I put that shit on four players, and she would just be letting that thing rip all day. It's great, pimpster. What's going on, man? Yes, pause is the key. Pausing the game is definitely. Definitely key. Look, Ryan's saying there's no monitors on eBay, guys. RK went up charges two hundred for one, trying to spend less. Speaking of of modding and swapping and all this stuff, Miss Cornerkin and I reached out to RK one up, and we said, guys, we could go buy this like light up kit that could light up the doors, the coin doors. How much do you guys charge for just buying a coin door? A lit up one from you guys. They said thirty bucks uh, plus shipping. What do you guys feel about that? I think that's actually pretty affordable. Thirty bucks for a light up coin door. I got the RK one up chrome badging on there. We were contemplating on doing that for the X Men to have like that deluxe chrome badging. I think that'd be pretty dope. So we're looking at sixty plus shipping. Would you guys pay thirty dollars for a coin door? Now I know you can just upgrade with you know the retro five thirty kits. It's like five dollars or something, but. This one may be more of a plug and play. You just got to cut out the box in the back. Jason said he's uh, tempted. Uh, if I see Joust again at that two fifty, grab the nineteen inch, um, two hundred dollars. Bam. Joust smart key is just perfect as is. Yeah, the Joust is a cool, cool looking cab, man. I love those ball, uh, those ball tops. But we already have it. We got the Mortal Kombat. That's gonna be more nostalgic to me. Jason, I'll sell you mine if you want. Uh, but I'm asking four hundred for it. <laughs> I know you guys might be crazy, but if it sells out, it's gonna be a hot commodity. And that two fifty price point really isn't there right now. I think it was two seventy five or something at one point. Um, but I listed it for four hundred. We'll see what happens. If if I get three for it, I'll take it. But I think that one is is up for sale. I'm trying to look real quick. I, I think that might be it. I do have Shinku Hadouken. That would be the other the other extra. <coughs> but guys, to be fair, I would not sell. I would not sell Joust if I had a basement. It's only because I'm running out of room. I would totally keep it. I may even just break it down and keep it in the box. And like have it for when we get, you know, the five year plan is to get a house. So when we move, then we have, you know, we could start busting out some of these old arcades again. I would I'd love it. Yeah, Kim took advantage of the sale. Yes, I got Joust last week for two fifty nine. It was great, great deal, great deal. Code is Bryce is in the house. Let's go. I love the Joust artwork and the marquee. Yeah, it's just it's a gorgeous looking cab. Definitely, guys. Hundred percent. It'd be cool if they made a Joust Deluxe, but I don't think they're going to, like, reskin Deluxes. I think they're just going to keep the mainstream on that. <clears throat> says uh, Jason says, it showed up on a sale late at night, twice on Mayfair. So who knows? <laughs> Dark Realm, I don't, uh, I don't, I have cold tea. I just don't have warm tea. I'm taking whatever I can get right now. Water, when I'm sick, goes right down and does not unclog my throat for some reason. It's just the worst. I mean, water's great, but I'm just saying, like, when I'm sick and I'm trying to unclog my throat, it just doesn't make the cut for me. Cold as Bryce says, Danny, you don't have to sell anything. Bring it all over to your Minnesota storage, my house, until you have space for it all. Ha! <laughs> if only you were closer, my friend. That uh, that 8 to 10 hour drive is going to be a little much for me one way. <clears throat> Zero Redux says, if you had to sell three cabs right now or else you get a sticker, which ones? Uh, I'd be Shinku, Joust, and I would say Centipede, only because of the screen. 
We'll see what happens with the, with the Atari cab. Maybe one of the Fast and Furiouses. Yeah, if you guys saw the picture, I'll, I'll show it to you guys real quick. Um, let me open up another tab real quick. Give me just a second. I posted on the community members only page. So if you guys are members, you will definitely see some behind the scenes action. But I'll show it to you guys um, now on our community channel. Oh, let me not do that. Um, we uh, We finished our section here. Bring this down. The bar stools. Let's, uh, there we go. No, not that one. Yes, this one. Okay, so we finished our, let me make this small again. We finished our section here, and I can't zoom in on this, I don't think. No, I can't. I can only do this. Yeah, no, that didn't do anything. So this is like the corner of our living room, guys. So it's, it's funny to see how these things like evolve. But uh, I'm sure on your phone, you can kind of pinch the zoom here. But uh, this was the original corner cave, guys. And so now we just we actually just uh, put in this ta uh, this this I don't know what this is called it a wall table or something, um, but uh, the pub table now lives there <coughs> instead of the kitchen. So cool stuff. Um, but yeah, I got the RK one up hat there. But we need to get some bar stools for here. That's the one thing we're missing, and I think this corner will be complete. But this is where the old corner cave was. And you can see here at the the very back um, bottom right, that's where the end table is to the couch. So like right here, you could fit like four arcades, and then we had against the 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 bay doors there, we had like four, so like eight is what we could fit. Very cool to see this as, as it's evolving here. Uh, but that's it, guys. If you were corner cave members, you could uh you could have seen that earlier today. We did that. <clears throat> uh, Superfab says they had their chance to knock it out of the park. By adding Wi-Fi in this cab multiplayer, and they failed. The only problem with that stupid fat habit is it, it's going to cost some money. It's going to cost some money. Toxin, thank you so much, man, for stopping by. Hey, yo, what's going on, man? Um, it's going to cost some money, stupid fat habit, to develop like the the software to go online and, and the and all that mumbo jumbo. So they're, they're just it's not going to happen. So like, if it didn't have it before, it's not going to have it now. You're 100 percent correct. I will say this though. At least it has a Wi-Fi antenna. So, like, if in the future they get a lot of golden tea love, maybe they go ahead and they put that online and they uh, they develop that. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of guessing here. You know, uh, I wanted to have Travis on tonight, our good friend Travis MCP. He's on. Uh, he's out of town, but I want to get him on the show because these are all going to be all really, really good questions um, to ask. Because maybe if they if the community shows enough love and buys enough of these. Hey, you know, can we get Golden Tea tournaments through the RK One Up app or something that we could go online with? Can can they do something like that? Because I will tell you, I'll tell you guys from my experience, NBA Jam is popping every single night. Um, that community is probably the largest I've ever seen, but uh, it's insane. And then um, you know, Blitz is a lot too. And since everybody got their two ninety nines, Blitz is up there too. So really, really cool stuff. <laughs> yes, Travis, get in here. Yes, trust me. Definitely, I definitely reached out. So just we will see in the future, hopefully. Uh Evil Genius Entertainment is in the house. What's going on, man? How are you doing? Are you picking up a golden tea? Guys, we got a poll up right now. We have a poll. Go ahead and vote. Golden tea spectate has been confirmed. Let's go. Oh man. Okay, JT Game says modern golden tea. Charges a yearly subscription for online, so I doubt it will have happened. Well, that's like that's, yeah, that's that's like newer stuff. That's that's cool new stuff. This is like retro stuff. Nobody's you know nobody's gonna charge so I can get online with Golden T ninety seven, uh, and play that. But who knows? I, <laughs> no, he's yep. Evil Genius is out. He's like, nope, not gonna happen. Love it. That's <laughs> so funny, dude. What's going on, GCA? Gotham City Arcade is in the house. I know Gotham will pick this up. And Gotham's a funny man here. Bring it back, Gotham, real quick. Gotham will pay like $800 to have this thing shipped in. He is a funny guy. Uh, price is not a... But how much did you pay for your Defender Defender Party? He was like $600 or something. This man is crazy. Um, but if you love it, the price is not an option. Yes, yeah, 41 votes so far. 76% 70%, 70 no. Well, 
I'm in. I, I, I guess I'm in the minority, guys. At the end of the day, because I I voted yes. I'm in on this. A hundred and ten percent, guys. We're definitely. I, I I'm excited. I you know you guys have seen it. Michael B said it in his video. You know, guys like PD Seven and Corner Cade, like they're gonna be excited for this. Um, just because it, what I wouldn't be excited for is another Mortal Kombat, a Street Fighter, maybe an Atari, because I don't think they're gonna come out with a really really cool looking cab. Um, <clears throat> especially this year, it's probably gonna be that Asteroid Deluxe, which already has a screen cutoff issue, so I'm not too happy about that. But uh, yeah. Zero Relic says, was it strange uh, that the leak was found on Wayfair, not Costco? <clears throat> no, because Wayfair has leaked things before. Like, I think, didn't they leak the Star Wars Atari? Oh, he's, he's like, I'm good, man. I got a Gen 2 Golden T. And that's going to be the, the case with most of these things, these re-releases and the re rehashes. Oh, yeah, Boof, man, getting back to that comment. Uh, saw a class of 81 for around 312. <clears throat> Ten minutes later, the deal was over. <clears throat> yeah, you got to be on top of your shit on Wayfair. That was a really good deal. I would have picked this up if I didn't already have it. Like two ninety nine, pretty much for that. I'm, I'm unbeatable because that cab's really, really good. And Boofman said, I vote no only because I have the XL with the swap dot monitor. Yeah, then, and then in that case, like, yeah, but... Think about it. If you don't have it, this would be almost a must buy because it's something new and it's something different. As far as a deluxe form factor, you know, getting out of those those swan design cabs. All right, guys, we have 65 people in the building right now. Please go ahead and give this video a like if you haven't. I see some new faces in here. Hopefully all you guys are subscribed and you turn that bell on for notifications because we like to go live and crazy and random things. Um, we like to do gameplays and there's never, I try to make it consistent, but there's never really consistent. It's like Tuesdays or Wednesdays, nights, sometimes Thursdays we go live with the Let's Go show, but uh, yeah, I try to keep it as consistent as I can for you guys, but my schedule is all over the place. <coughs> I'm excited to do that uh, that X-Men mod, guys. I'm I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the marquee. Um, Kim says they also had a Star Wars for 425. Does that whenever go lower? That's Star Wars that re released, I think, during Christmas time. It was in my cart for 411. I should have pressed, I should have pressed the button and done it. So I think I can sell this one for 400, 450. And then I'd be upgrading to uh, Black T Molding, Continuous Riser Design, and the Lit Up Coin Door. But I want to see, guys, because it's on our list, I want to see if they do um a star wars deluxe this year that would be really cool yes we need all the ninja watchers too the people that aren't subbed i know there's a couple of people that watch me all the time that aren't subbed guys what are you doing man help support the channel like you're already here help your boy out let's go you're already watching even if you're creeping even if you're looking for hate videos and if you're looking to make content just hit the subscription because then that's how you're going to be notified to make this content you know what i'm saying Uh, Evil Genius Entertainment says, I assumed it would be uh, online. Hmm, if not, it's really just a pre, pre, uh, reha or pure rehash. Yes, they're all going to be, there's going to be no investment. This is a recovery year for Arcade 1 Up to try to make some money back in their pockets. Zero Redux has an emoji here. And it looks like a ninja. I <laughs> love it, guys. Um, let's file over here. I'm going to go ahead and end the poll, guys. An ast astounding 77% of the people are saying, no, I'm good. I follow that 22%, guys. What can I say? I'm excited. I I'm genuinely excited about this. This is going to be a cool one. We're obviously going to be doing a live build for you guys once this comes into the corner can. But I want to get it at a good price. I don't want to uh, I don't want to overpay for this thing. But, again, I, I probably will be selling Joust or Shinku. One of those is going to be on the line. I don't know what kind of go from there. Zero Redux said that Smash TV leak is out there somewhere. Keep your eyes peeled. That's right, community. We are one. We have each other's backs, man. You know it's going to be coming soon. That one might be, <coughs> that be... That might be one where they wait around, like, Christmas. I was getting a little worried that, like, RK went up and turning into, like, a Christmas time company where they only produce calves or, and come out with a bunch of stuff around the holidays. JT Game says, how are they saving money if they don't sell well? Aren't they losing money? 
JC, what do you mean by that? It says, how are they saving money if they don't sell well? So they pay for said IP. Once they've produced the PCB for that, there's no development cost when, and, and trust me, tra- this is a perfect question for Travis, trust me. But they're not paying the development cost anymore for that PCB. So like in Street Fighter, they just use a copy-paste from before. Copy-paste, copy-paste. So they're not paying anything additional to have somebody sit there and code it and develop it and all that stuff. And community, trust me, correct me if I'm wrong with this. I'm just a casual gamer at the end of the day. But uh, once they reach that threshold, so like let's say the Golden Tee license costs $1 million, right? And they've already made their $1 million. And they just keep copy pasting and they might come up with like a redesigned body style, might throw the light of coin or whatever. They can charge less than that because it's all profit. It's all pure profit of that. The, the debt is already paid off. So now RK one up just takes the full percentage. I don't know in, in business terms what the contract looks like. If you know they sign a Street Fighter deal and the Street Fighter says, "Okay, well we get forty percent, you get sixty percent, or whatever the case may be." At this rate, once it's paid off to a certain dollar amount, that debt's already been paid off. It's a hundred percent profit to RK one up. So they were able to charge the lower price of two ninety nine. So I'm hoping if you guys have bought the rehashes before and all that, that Golden Tee can come out. Let's say four ninety nine is the price point. And we can get it at three ninety nine. I would be running. I'd take a lap naked around the block, but uh, I, I don't know if that's going to happen. It looks like this could be a higher price point. We won't know until it's been confirmed, and we're in the building ready to go. We we're kind of speculating for the X Men rehash. Um, <clears throat> and we were right with that price point of four ninety nine. They were able to go a hundred bucks lower, which was nice uh, on that. J T Gibbs says, uh, "Still material and shipping." And all the costs still, right? Yeah, yeah, that for that. But from like a developmental cost and a debt owed cost, they're they're all good for that then. You still have to, <coughs> you still have, to have the thing paid for to, to, to produce it. Carter Conway is in the house. NFL Blitz is absolutely one of my favorites. 100%, man. We actually got the marquee for that. And we are going to be replacing that very, very soon. We'll do a video on that. Cold as Bryce. I'm sorry, man. Like, when I get excited, I get excited. That's, I, I, no telling what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I thought I saw one of my boys in here. Darren Kane. What does Darren Kane not say? I can tell you when I was at RK 1UP, retailer leak sucked because marketing cannot control the narrative. The problem was there's no repercussions for the retailer jumping the gun. Here's what I'm saying. You get ahead of that, guys. And the way you get ahead of that is you have guys like me, Michael B, Travis MCP, whoever, get on with Arcade 1UP and do a 30-minute weekly show to say, boom, done, done, it's done. We're already ahead of the game. Guys, we got something coming for you. Let's, 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 let, you, let's let the community know. You might see it pop up on leaks here and there on websites. Done, done. Like, there's easy peasy lemon squeezy. And trust me, guys. I could I could do a 30 minute show myself just with me and some guys at RK one up for sure. And to just let you guys know what's going on in the community, what what positive news is happening, uh tournaments, events, giveaways. I mean, it goes on and on. There's so much to talk about, but they just don't want to do it. And then at the end of the day, we kind of as YouTubers tell you guys through leaks and and you know, retailer retailer leaks and then you know, purpose leaks from RK one up. Carter Conway said, "It's been a while since I've seen you. How's your family? Thank you for thank you for uh, checking in on us, Connor. Uh, we're doing great. We're doing great, man. Um, my wife and I are kind of a little sick right now, so that kind of sucks. But the kids are well. Um, the house is beautiful. We're thinking about uh, side note to the corner can household. I was thinking about selling my seventy five inch TV in the living room and upgrading to an eighty five inch. I think I could do the upgrade for about four hundred bucks." So it's kind of him and ha on that. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. It's very, uh, I'm thinking about it. Thinking about it. Uh, let's see where we go. Super Fab, it says a roadmap would eliminate retail leaks. Just saying, 100%. That's another thing I said. I said they should do a year, a year 2024. This is the kickoff show. It's kind of like almost their Super Bowl show. We're going to go two hours, guys, and we're going to let you know every single product that's coming out from rk one up or you can flip it and say we'll give you a six month roadmap and let you know what we got planned for that six month time frame 
answer everybody's questions, get everybody hyped, and then have certain shows talking about that. So you do a 30-minute show on this cab and product, and then next week you'll do another one. I mean, it's four shows a month. That's really not hard to do for 30 minutes at a time. I mean, just saying hi to everybody in the community will take 30 minutes. Like, it goes by really, really quick. Yeah, Carter Conway is like, I wasn't feeling well today either. It's going around, man. It's going around. It stinks. Like, I was just healthy, too. Um, but, guys, we, we've hit that We've hit that hour mark, guys. You know, like, I always say I could go on and on and on with you guys all night. We've done four-hour shows here, but I kind of try to keep that time frame because I'm really excited, man. I want to do these marquees. Let's go, man. Um, uh, But we'll see what happens. Uh. I'm going to try to get some guests on in the future shows here. We'll obviously try to do some gameplay and stuff, just depending on my work schedule. Cultus Bryce says something about Michael B. here. He says, yes, uh, I have Michael B. do a show about repeated, repeatedly buying Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's an, it is an addicted, ho- addicted hobby, I should say. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, Evil Genius. But if you, if you can only do a roadmap if there's new products coming out, if their roadmap was only two to three calves, it would be mocked. Mm, I don't know. I mean, haters are always going to hate, you know, so I, I don't, uh, I think, I think if, uh, I don't know, I think, I think if you just, if you were just open with the community, I think that's a lot where a lot of frustration lies is there's no communication and we're just sitting here waiting and then we're waiting and then we're waiting. And like Nintendo has like communication where they would release something or let you know, like there's other stuff that goes on that you see from Xbox and Sony and, I don't know. You just, I just feel like, you know, RK went up being a smaller company. You could be more communicative with your fan base. Um, and we've always talked about this as like the lack of the lack of communication at the end of the day, even if it's just with them, you know, they try to do it more when they had John D there. And then it seems like Cyrus and the boys kind of promised that there was going to be something and there hasn't been anything. And you just can't have radio silence when there's nothing. You got to create excitement then get on and say, guys, we're giving away 50 arcade one up hats. What's going on, man? Let's spin the wheel and see what's up. You got to create excitement. There's no excitement all the time. You got to create it then. Like, look at Arcade Dave. Let's go, man. Love your enthusiasm as always. I'm excited to swap out here. You know, hold on a second, guys. They're right here, literally. Okay, guys, I'm excited to put some marquees on. Arcade, what up? We need this enthusiasm out of you guys. Let me just see here. So I got the Blitz one. Oh, look at that thing. That looks gorgeous. Okay, there's the Blitz one. And then we got X-Men in the house, dude. Let's go. Like, the little things like that. Like, And, and honestly, RK, what up? I shouldn't even be doing this because you should have been, this should have been right from the jump. But, but yeah, just getting excited about your job and, like, being here and supporting the community and having fun and getting amped and getting hyped, man. This is what it's about. So, uh. Carter Conway, do your kids like playing these arcade machines? Carter Conway, you have the question of the night. If we had a sounder like boop, 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 that would be awesome. Um, but we don't. Uh, actually, my kids love playing the arcade machines. I actually want to get them like into sports and stuff because I played uh, I played college baseball and I played uh, high school football and I played like summer league basketball. So I was really, really athletic, um, but I want to get my kids into that. Like, I want to teach my son how to throw a ball and stuff like that. But they love the art. I mean, come on, dude. I'm I'm the cornercade. We got Mrs. Cornercade. If our kids didn't like arcades, we'd be doing them a disservice. My daughter actually asked. My daughter actually asked if we could go to the arcade today. Actually, yesterday and today, she said, "Can we go to the arcade?" And she's not talking about the cornercade. She knows the cornercade. She's talking about. The real arcade, the Garcade that we've been going to. And I was like, oh man, you're gonna just bring a tear to daddy's ear. Um, let's see here. Wait, wait, wait. Carl always in the building, Carl. Thank you so much for stopping by me. He says, I super chatted Cyrus on your stream, Danny, for power butt, target toss, and silver strike XL form factor. And we get a this slop comes on. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're gonna be rehashing it, man. This is gonna be a save. Save the the year and try to just rehash and, and do cheap stuff. Uh, but yeah, I would totally be a silver strike. Are you kidding me? But I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the bowling game that they give me because you know with this with this deluxe one because it's better than nothing at the end of the day. But 
these questions are pouring in. I wasn't ready to leave, guys. I love you guys. Let's go. I'm going to try to answer as many as I can, guys. Um, Evil Genius Entertainment says, if it doesn't have Wi-Fi, doesn't that guarantee an XL version with it down the line? Um, I don't think so. I think, like, even if an XL version comes out, I don't know, man. I <laughs> With RK1 up, you don't know. But I, I don't think that's going to happen. I think if they do come out with an XL, they're just going to fix the screen, and that's it, to be quite honest with you. They might throw you guys a bone and light up the coin doors. Was the, was the coin doors lit up on the XL? No, they weren't. Uh, they might throw you a bone then and, and light up the uh, the XL or the the do- door the doors on the XL. <clears throat> uh, RK Dave says, "I think once uh, this competition begins with other companies and in the space, it will make RK what up officially make some announcements. Hopefully, hopefully to drop some buzz and get some excitement. Competition man is good. It's good. Like more more companies, more better in the space for sure." Gives us as a consumer options and steps other people up to the plate for sure. Yeah, rap. come on. That's why I married her, bro. Like, come on now. Not just marry anybody around here. That's why I married Mrs. Corner Cane. Badass woman. Uh, it says too bad about the shuffle golf. Yeah, that was uh that was odd. They made their backing, but something happened, so it just got canceled. So, you know, Detroit Love's gonna be sad. I know he was kind of excited about that. And cold as Bryce says, oh, you have to be proud, Danny. Well done, Daddy. That was uh, in reference to my daughter asking about the arcades for sure. And even my son, my son pulls me over to Fast and Furious because he recognizes that from the from the cornercade. And that's his favorite uh, when we go there, too. All right, Tony's in the building. What's going on, man? He says, uh, what's up, everybody? I'm so very cautious of what arcade went up. Konami's X-Men cabinet would look like um yeah that's not i don't think that's gonna be a thing that's one of those licenses that's just i think kind of went kaput and left like sega um something happened for sure <laughs> coldest bray says danny you can never leave uh has katie tried asking travis to make an appearance of course man we're always on the phone with our boy travis um we did i don't know you were late getting to the show here but i did reach out to travis to see if he can come on I like to have him on when, like, new exciting stuff comes out because he's not like me. He can't just sit here and talk about what RK went up when nothing's really going on. Um, but he is out of town right now. We're going to see if we can get him on one of the future shows and kind of ask all the related questions to this because it's going to be exciting. All right, guys. We have caught up with the chat. I love you guys. Like I said, I could be here forever. Guys, please give this video a like if you haven't. We had 62 people watching tonight. Absolutely love you guys. I love all the support that we get. But we got we got we got marquees to put on, guys. We got we got some Joe Sables marquees to put on. Um, and we're gonna be making videos for you guys, of course, on that. And then the progress through X-Men. We're gonna keep following our rehash 2024 list. Guys, we're one for one right now. One for one, we're batting a thousand. Should we just end the list right now? We just say, hey, we had the most accurate list of the year. Um, very excited about that. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. It's a rough sketch. We'll see how this goes compared to the leak. The leaked RK went up with, with the coffee pots. But I'll uh, bring you guys down. Love you guys as always. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in tonight, guys. Again, uh, I love the support. We'll catch you next week. Hopefully, I can have some people on. Maybe we'll talk Golden Tea, get their thoughts too. Uh, you already know mine. I'm 100% in. Very, very excited, guys. Um, but what are your thoughts at the end of the day? Leave a comment down below, guys. If you like it, hate it, or you want something different. We talked about, hey, uh, could use a little online play. Where's that at? Light up coin doors, of course. Like, what's going on, guys? Come on now. But again, this is RK One Up. This is a rehash and just a low cost, high reward kind of year. So we'll see what happens. You know, the corner cave's all in though with with that. Uh, but with that being said, guys, please give this video a like on the way out. And as always, everybody, we will see you in the next one. Peace.